Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Brianna Lenz and today we are going to be fully finishing another cross stitch. Today I am finishing Primrose and Cottage Stitches, Hot Cocoa and Christmas Cheer. This is stitched on 25 count Lugana. This is stitched two over two using Turkish Red by Weeks Dye Works. I needed three skeins. Um, the pattern calls for two. I needed three and I took out a lot of the extras and I just kept the lettering. I kept the hot cocoa and then in the Santa hat, I took out the holly berry and I just kept it red and white. And this is, this is a big piece and I'm so happy with how this turned out. I'm so glad that I finished it and I immediately FFO'd it, which FFO means fully finished object in common vernacular in the Floss 2 community. I'm really, really pleased. This is finished on an upcycled piece of sign that I got from a local consignment shop. I got the sign for $2.99 and then I spent probably a dollar's worth of paint uh, in Santa Red by Americana, which you can get at Hobby Lobby. And then the um, boards are using cardboard, which I then glued a piece of fabric to using Fabri-Tac glue. And then I use hot glue to secure the stitching fabric as well as my backing fabric on there which this backing fabric I think is like the ticking fabric I believe it's called this striped fabric I got from Hobby Lobby I think it was in my stash but I had a friend recommend the stripes fabric and I think that was a great suggestion I'm so pleased so this was a very cheap and effective finish and I'm really happy with it um I'm all about trying to just See things a little bit different. Let me see if I can move this just a little bit different. And I'm really, really happy. I should just scoot over. So today what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring you along as I make it. And I like making these videos. They inspire me to continue uh, fully finishing as soon as I finish something. And I'm hoping to inspire more of you guys to just bite the bullet and FFO. It really, it took... It didn't take that long. Like it took a while, but it didn't at the same time. And I'm... The payoff was so worth the, uh, the the time that it took me to do it. The most time intensive part was probably just the, it wasn't even the painting of the board. I think it was just assembling everything together. But now that I've done a couple of these uh, hot gluing the fabric to the board, I'm getting a lot more confident with it and I'm getting less uh, frustrated with myself. So practice is really, really worth it. And I'm going to be honest, I got really lucky with my placement of the boards because I just kind of stuck it on there and was like, Oh, I think that's in the middle. So anyway, I'm just, I'm so happy. So happy. And I recommend this chart. This was easy to follow, really easy to follow and was so much fun to stitch two over two on 25 count. So come hang out with me and let's finish this project together. Today, we are going to be fully finishing Hot Cocoa and Christmas Chair by Primrose Cottage Stitches. And I'm going to be upcycling a $2.99 frame that I got from my local consignment shop. This was originally a spring shop find from Hobby Lobby. Yeah, my kids are screaming outside because they're playing. But I found this and I thought, oh, this is going to be perfect. And it's going to fit right there. And I'm going to do... I'm going to put this on. It's not going to be sticky board because I'm going to use cardboard, I think, and then something else. And so I'm going to have to fi figure out the fabric that I'm going to use behind it. But I am going to be painting this red. And um, I, I think I'm going to either be using Heritage Brick or Santa, Santa Red by Americana. But I just wanted to show what everything looks like before... I start finishing. Um, this is a series that I do on my channel. Hello, if you're new. Hi, I'm glad you found me. My name is Brianna Lentz and I do a lot of cross stitching and crochet, painting, all the crafts really. And um, right now I'm doing a lot of cross stitch. So anyway, I like to bring you along as I fully finish for two reasons. I like to inspire you to fully finish your cross stitch pieces as well as it inspires me to fully finish my cross stitch pieces. And I absolutely love making these videos. So this is stitched on 25 count Lugana, uh, yeah, 25 count Lugana, two over two using Turkish red. And there is some things that are different from the original pattern. I do not have all the extra bits and bobs in the pattern. And I also took off the green holly 
that is um, on the original pattern because I just, I didn't want the green. I just want the red and the white and the brown. So yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna be going out and about. So I wanna go ahead and get the first coat on so it can dry while I'm gone and use the most of my time today because I'd love to get this fully finished today. I'm all about it. Let's just crank these out because I am just absolutely loving it. I have no idea where I'm gonna hang this in my house yet though. Full disclaimer, I have no, no clue. <laughs> I keep looking. I'm like, I don't know where this is going to go, but I'm going to do it and it's going to be great. So <laughs> let's go ahead and get started. All right. So the, my two choices are Santa Red, which apparently I really like because I have three of these in my stash. And then Heritage Brick, which Fiona, my daughter, she said that I should do Heritage Brick, which is that color that's closest to the, um, the cover, I believe. Yeah. Oh, that's like a direct match. Or there's this one. Or is that a direct match? Oh, actually, that might be. Well, here's the thing. I'm going to, I think I'm going to do Santa Red first. And if it's too bright, I can go over it with Heritage Brick. So let's do that. I'm going to start with this one. And I'm going to go paint it over, over there and then come back here. And this is the chart, if you're wondering. See, this is what I omitted from mine, which is really cute. And I, I understand why they put it there because there's negative space. But you know me, me and my simplicity. I like it like, I like it a lot of lights. No regrets. And yes, I will iron this before I do anything with the stitching. I just, um, ironing is my least favorite for cross stitch. I mean, I like to iron, but I don't like ironing my cross stitch. So I'm avoiding it. So I'll see you in a minute. Coat one is done. I'm loving it. Just paint the town red. I don't even know what that means. So don't, don't quote me on that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Who gave me a YouTube channel? But yeah, I'm happy with this. So Santa red. And again, with that other one, if I think this is too bright, then at least I used my Santa red and I'll use less paint of the, what is it? Heritage brick because I have three tubes of this. And my daughter was using this too. She's painting a, a sled. Isn't that so cute? She's, she says she wants to do one side one way and then the other side the other way. And then my daughter Fiona, the artiste, how cute is this? She's, this is just her base coat. She's doing so good. I love it, love it. Progress. Second coat is on. I'm thinking it might need a third coat, but we're gonna let it dry all the way. In the meantime, over here on my floor, I think, okay, so my friend Sherry, Sherry Price, she recommended stripes, which I think she's right on the money. And I have this in my stash, which is like this long piece of, I don't know, I got it from Hobby Lobby. And um, I think it's perfect and I think it matches really well. So. I measured on there. I'm going to cut a piece of cardboard four by 13, which might be a little bit big, but I can trim it down. And I think, so this is going to be four by 13. And then I'm going to figure out how big I want this. If I change the dimensions, of course, I'll let you know. Um, but right now I'm going to go with four by 13. And then with this one on my Wee Santa, I wish that I had gone bigger. So I think I would like a half an inch on each side, which would be five by 14 but am I gonna want even more? I don't know. So I'll have to figure it out. My board is still wet, so I can't like put it in there, but for right now I'm gonna do four by 13 and then I'll figure it out. And I'll let you know the dimensions, but I think this is gonna look really good. And I think I know where I'm gonna put this. I think I'm gonna hang this above my calendar in our homeschool area, which will be fun. So stay tuned. All right, so I have them cut out, and this ended up being four and a half by 13, and then this ended up being six by 14 and a half. And unfortunately, it does not cover all of the writing like I thought that it would. So I'm definitely gonna have to do a couple more coats on this guy. Darn, I was hoping I wouldn't have to, but it's gonna be great, so it's worth it. All right, I'm back on my floor. And I'm going to take my cardboard cutouts and I'm going to cut out pieces of batting. And then I'm going to glue the batting onto the cardboard because I'm not using sticky board. 
Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the batting onto my cardboard using Fabri-Tac glue. I love this glue so much. It just really holds up and it is so fast drying. So I've already done it to this one and I'm going to go ahead and do it to this one. Hey, Jules, can you turn that down, please, babe? I'm going to be done in just a minute. So I'll let these dry completely before I put the cross stitching on top. That's gonna work out really good. Did I get it perfectly in there? Oh my gosh. Yes, I did. Wow. Now I, oh, I got to press it down. Oh, don't break the board, Brie. Don't break the board. Okay. I'm going to put this back on top and I get my food saver box. Yeah. Okay. Let that sit. Okay, you guys, so that's it. Thanks for hanging out with me while I fully finish another piece of my cross stitch work. Um, so happy. I This went beyond my expectations. I'm just so thrilled. And if you're not proud of yourself, then what are you doing it for? You know what I mean? So yeah, 
I, uh, I'd love to know what you guys are working on. If you're going to fully finish anything in the future, what you're most excited to fully finish next. And I'll see you guys in the next project and in my next video. Um, and to do that, please subscribe so you don't miss my next project and next video. Hit the notification bell so you're notified on my next project that I work on. And if you like this video, then it shares, YouTube will share my video with more people. I'm just saying. So thanks again, you guys. Happy stitching.